Wait, Hammer Ranger Kooky. And I'm gonna show you my update of the, uh, uh what you call the, uh, slash rocket stove thing. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay, that that's good to know. All right, I took the pipe that was falling and I bracketed it down and keep it from moving. So now I can pick this up and when this warps because of the heat, it won't come off. Now, now I'm gonna take copper tubing and go around this thing over and over and over and over until it gets to a certain spot and comes out this out of this now when this tube gets hot it will get the copper tubing hot and will create hot water so i put this one around that Now I got a, what you call, a circular thing, and that will keep the heat inside the second tube, and we heat up those coils of the hot water heater. Then, this goes into this bucket. Well, really, it's a smoker. Oh, shit. Okay. There you go. Goes in the smoker. Now, I created another one, but all right, I want to show you that real quick. All right, this is the, uh, the feeder. This is the one that's going to be feed, uh, uh, what you call oil. Not, not uh, uh, motor oil, it's going to be crystal. Crystal oil, you know, uh, man, that's the pipe, and that's going to feed my shortening not shortening vegetable oil into the pan and this will keep it hot as the flames keep as the oil goes in it will keep this thing hot and right now i'm letting it cure i got some um some black i show you what i got on there the damn it where's the tube oh here's the tube this is for motor oil i mean not motor oil for uh putting stuff on very hot stuff it's called black silicone it's made for heat for your car it's gas sealers and that's what i have here and i'm letting it cure for like two days or a day i'm gonna let it cure really good and probably put another seal around it and i want to cure that then i'm gonna do a test with it and y'all get to watch the test so let's go back over here so now I got my oven slash not stove yet, but I'm working on the stove part. And that's going to be the hardest part. But here's the hot water part. I just have to go get the pipe, pipe cute tubing to go around and around and around and around. And when this heats up, it will heat up the copper tubing and I'll run the water line to it and it will come out onto the side. And I just want to let y'all know. Turn off this light so y'all can see. Over at Bowen Pookie's channel, that's that little thing right on the side, I put a very me uh, bad message about the Rendezvous 3. Go check it out, but I'm warning you, that's my real personality of the dark side. I talk bad about the view. Oh, the horror. Go check out that video on Bowen Pookie's channel. I just talk bad about the view, how, how much I hated it. So go over there. If you don't like drama, don't go. If you like it, uh, you want to see the real me, more real me, the aggravating side or the aggravation side of me, go check out uh, Bowling Cookie's channel. The video is going to be uploaded in a few minutes, and this video is going to be uploaded just a few minutes before that. So I just want to show you, tell you about that so you can go check it out because a lot of people are not... Um, subscribe to Bowling Cookie. That's right below. If you want to see my dark side and more of my hate or whatever, go check out Bowling Cookie. Well, I just want to show you the update of my stove slash hot water heater slash oven. 
this is what I got so far. This is a, um, a uh, what you call a uh, smoker. And I just got some piping. I just have to get, like I said, to get the copper piping. I got the other part cured now, and that's about it. And here's some more stuff that I bought. I thought about making a big one. This takes time, and I got other stuff I found in the uh, junkyard or just in junk piles of junk. And this is my the one y'all saw. This is the first uh, demo. It was a test to see how well it works. It won't work freaking great. So all this stuff here belongs to the hot water, except for the bag and that bag. But that all this stuff is gonna be made for little little camp heaters. And this is the monster. This is the slash everything. Hot water heater, oven, slash stove, slash camp heater. And this is it. This is the uh, the big monster. And I'm thinking about going into this one because it's more solid. But that one has more air flows. And I'll have to cut holes in this. I don't know. I'm just doing some tests. If it works with this one, I'll go with this. And it's brand new. It's pretty good. So. All right. I'm Ranger Kuki. I'll see y'all next video. Well, a Ranger Kuki update. Uh, before the view, I came out to my camp here and did some repairs and cleaning and I made something. And I was like, I hope that no water will stay on this item that I made. And it made it through the whole week. Uh, my gear my gear thing made it through the whole vu vu week i was on my little vacation i made this right before the vu it rained cats and dogs if i'm not mistaken and it made it the rope I use no sticks, all rope, with this screen net thing, and two, oh, I do have a stick, but it goes only halfway, and, and this stick was already here, so it don't count, but it's all made on rope, see, it's on the rope, not on the stick, the stick is like right below it, but it's, with rope, if we come along, I do have to loosen this up after like four years. I have to loosen up so the tree will breathe. I don't want to smutticate my trees or any trees out here. See, this is not tight. So I'm not worried about that right now. But me and Bear loosen all the other strings that are on these trees out here so these trees can breathe. But it held up through a whole week of rain. I knew it rained because it got puddles everywhere but it's doing pretty well. So my rope, rope, tarp, no sticks worked. It's all this $9 cord that I bought at uh, Home Depot. And it looks like this is not even doing anything. The tarps, the, the sticks and the, oh, I got some water. Oh, we got a little water up there, but you see that it didn't hold. I saw the water hold, oh, looks like this spot hold a little bit of water. Nope, it's empty. So I'm good. It's a double line tarp. I got a yellow tarp because I had extra tarps and a camo. All right, it worked. You see the water's up there, but it ran off pretty easy and well. So I'm good. This is holding up very well. Only thing I hate about double line tarps, critters get in there. And I like to chew holes in the second liner. See? That's why I hate about two tarps. Because little critters get in there and like to chew holes. And try to find out where it goes. And find out it, it's a 50 foot drop for him. But <laughs> my cap's doing well. There's a bunch of four wheelers driving through outside outskirts of my camp. I'm ready to go bitch at them people if I find them. No four wheelers. I will care you come out here. No four wheelers. Now, people want to know why I have these tarps like 50 feet up. All right, I got these tiki torches everywhere and candles. 
on the outskirts of these tarps, you can't see any of those tar any of those lamps. Nowhere. You can see the lamps through these. You see a few lamps through this tarp, and when the door is open, and that tarp over here. But if I put better tarp over here, you can't see my camp at night. That's why those there's those tarps are way up there in the sky. Plus a little privacy, because during the summer, you ever have noticed my clothes always hanging up? Well, you know why. And what are you chewing on now? And somehow, somebody dropped the dog off at my house, at my dad's house. I call him Derg. Ain't that right? He's a smart dog. I said, let's get, in the, let's get for a ride. He jumps in the car. Like, yeah, man, I'm ready to go for this, man. And there's Sally. She got some new playmate. Derg. Yes, Derg. And Sally. Sally meets Derg. Derg meets Sally. Oh, boy. Got another dog at my dad's house. They're loving one another. All right, um, I don't like this video too long. I just want to show you the update. Uh, no one touched the fire. No one touched anything on my property, which is good. I don't mind them driving out there, but I don't want them to tear up my 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 property with their damn four wheelers. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki. I'll see y'all next video.